sash is also really great as a present idea. Oh. <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey munchies, it's the Gamer Untamed and Merry Christmas to everyone! I'm actually filming this video on Christmas but it is going to be coming up on Sunday or Monday depending on where you are in the world. But Merry Christmas nevertheless, we have had an awesome morning in my household. Lots of present exchanging and taking photos and my dad obsessing over his new phone. That's the norm. But what I'm going to be doing today is sharing with you my monthly favourites in a Christmas edition. And before anyone starts going, oh no, this is another beauty thing. Well, it's not. There's only two beauty sections and they're not really beauty sections and the rest of it is kind of gaming, movie, book related. So I hope you enjoy and I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of my Christmas gifts throughout. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first one is what is my favourite beauty or hair care or body product and that one for this month is the Maybelline Nudes palette that I bought a couple weeks ago. I didn't get it for Christmas, this was something I bought prior to going to Adelaide for a week and holiday and I wore this a couple of shades in this palette quite a few times. So obviously I'm not targeting boys when I'm talking about this. If I could get this open, that would be fantastic. I'm going to remove that. So what have you got in here? They're very neutral tones and I'm a very neutral person because of my eye colour and my hair colour. So you've got a lot of brown, some, uh, one blue, some champagne and creamy colours. And there's even some golds in there, which is fabulous. So if you happen to watch my video and you're a girl, because guys, I don't think you'll particularly enjoy this. Unless you do, that's fine, I'm not judging. But perhaps you'd like to get this for your birthday because it's really, it's a really nice palette. Gorgeous colours. So number two is what is my favourite fashion item and it's actually a dress that I got for Christmas and it is what I am wearing this second. I absolutely love this dress. The collar, the one that goes right up to your neck, the plunging neckline. I really love the colours, the blue and the white. My dad said it makes me look like an old Greek lady. I disagree. I think it's a very charming dress, very elegant, very sweet, and it goes right up to the knee, except mainly for me because I'm short. But I definitely recommend wearing heels with it to uh, lengthen your legs if you're short, like me. If not, go with flats, you'll look fine. So number three is what is my favourite TV show or movie that I've watched this month? And without a doubt, it has to be Blind Spot. I am absolutely obsessed with this show. It stars Sullivan Stapleton, who is from Strike Back, and he's Australian. And also Jamie Alexander, who we know from Thor. I absolutely love this show. I rarely ever get into CSI um, crime television dramas that are in, set in modern day, but I am so obsessed with the character of Jane Doe. I mean, with a name, Jane Doe, and all her tattoos. They are so punk that I've never used that word. They just, I love her tattoos. If I could just be falsely tattered for a day, I would have all of her tattoos. The show is totally engrossing. I watched all of the first half of the first season in December, and now I can't wait for February. I am just like sitting on the edge of my seat to find out what happens in the show. So I definitely recommend it. Watch it. It's, it's, a, it's on Netflix, of course go for it. So number four is the favourite song that I have listened to this month and without a doubt it has to be Right Here by Ashes Remain. And I've never heard of this band before in my life, I'm sure this is an old song, but I was browsing through YouTube looking at blind spot clips and I found this tribute to um, the characters in blind spot Jane and Kurt. And this song was playing over one of them and I just died with emotions because I thought it was so poignant and adorable and I had to find this song. I can't play it for you because of copyright rules but you should definitely definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to a, whoops, I'll leave a link to a video clip or a, or the video itself down below. I am so geeky for even looking this up in the first place. It's a great song, I love the beat, I love the emotions that it has and it. it's quite a raw song to be honest. So number five is my favourite food and I'm going with something new that I've tried that I haven't had before. Since I'm an incredibly fussy eater, I find it really hard to go for it and eat new foods, but I've recently had calamari and that's what I'm talking about. But when I was in Adelaide, I ordered this dish and it was this oven baked chicken with this saffron risotto and it's basically like risotto 
but made from pearl barley. So it's a very soft rice. Um, it was actually quite nice, surprising to me, because I absolutely thought I wouldn't like it. Actually ate quite a bit of it, thought it was pretty delicious, and I'm probably going to eat it again. <laughs> Number six is my favourite book or thing that I've read this month, and it definitely has to be um, a few of the short stories from Chiamanda Adichie's The Thing Around Your Neck, which I've had to read for school. I've really enjoyed it. There are a couple of short stories in here that I absolutely love and they would have to be um, on Monday of last week, Jumping Monkey Hill and The Thing Around Your Neck, the actual short story for that. I absolutely love the short story of The Thing Around Your Neck. It's written in the second person, so you and you as the reader are identifying with the character personally as opposed to on a third, from a third perspective. I loved it. It was very emotional. It was very raw. There's very, there's lots of sex in this. Surprising to me. Like teachers, you want us to read. Of course, you want us to read about this. We're not prudes. But it was a very interesting story. I loved the characters. I can't pronounce their names because they're Nigerian. I, I just don't remember them. It's a bit hard to remember their names, which I find a bit difficult. But the stories, they're so, they're so filled with compassion. And you can tell the writer really cares about portraying women in a more positive light than sometimes they were portrayed in the period in Nigeria when this was actually set. So number seven is my favourite moment or place. And this is quite a tricky one, but I've settled on when I had a spontaneous pool party at my house and I had a lot of friends over that I don't usually interact with on a regular basis. And it was really nice just to get to relax and play around in the pool and the water and just lounge about with people that I don't always talk to and it was just great to like chat with them and have a nice conversation and play around and they can definitely come back because it was super fun. Finally, number eight is the favourite game that I have played this month and without a doubt it has to be Fallout 4. If you haven't seen my review, I'll leave a link to it below, but Bethesda are the masters of creating expansive sandbox video games if you want to spend hours and hours on end in a video game that is very realistic and authentic and it's very immersive, definitely pick up Fallout 4. Huge love of it. But just for the last few minutes I'm just going to show you some of the gifts that I got this year for Christmas. Maybe there'll be great gift ideas next year for Christmas for anyone, so definitely stick around for that. So some of the things that I received this year for Christmas gifts are as follows, and I definitely recommend these for almost any person. The first few couple I would definitely just recommend for girls. Uh, speaking of, this beautiful bag I've got from my nonna, it is pure Italian leather. She bought it from Italy when we went a couple years ago and unfortunately has never used it. I've had my eye on this bag for ages and she surprised me by giving this bag to me for Christmas. It is so beautiful. It smells amazing. Whew, really leathery. It's not a huge bag. It's got some nice zips in here. You know, it's pretty big, but it's not huge. And it's got some nice extra, extra pocket space for us girls because we like to carry lots of stuff. As well, I this is ironic because I almost knew what every, every one of my gifts were because I wrapped them myself. I actually bought these shoes a while ago and I have the tan pair and I wrapped them because I knew that I'm like, I'll just get it for myself for Christmas. So these are by Isabel something. Anzel me. I'm terrible, I'm a terrible Italian apparently. And they just they're just these black ordinary sandals. Can't go wrong with black sandals, really. They're pretty pretty. I've also got some gift cards, and I don't need to show you that. So gift cards are always a great gift to get. I've got some Peter Alexander uh, gift cards to get some more pajamas. Since I basically live in my pajamas, I might as well get some more. I've also got a DVD of Jane Eyre because I absolutely love the uh, book, I love the movie, and now I have the TV series. Cash is also really great as a present idea, you can't go wrong with money. But where can you go wrong with an inflatable swan? I mean, if you don't have a pool, you're probably not going to have much to do with it. But it's a great gift idea, I mean, they come with lots of things. Like, you can get a duck, 
and you can get an ice cream and a flamingo and a pineapple and Moby Dick and a watermelon and even a toucan. I mean, they come in so many different shapes and sizes, but I decided we'll just get the white swan since it'll most likely reflect the heat as opposed to all the other bright colours. I mean, I obviously have this because I have a pool and I can just lounge on it. I mean, it's supposed to be huge and I'm tiny, so you could probably fit three people on this one thing. It's supposed to be 54 inches by 37 inches. That's quite large. Like, and a few more centimetres to it and it'll be taller than me. Like, whoa like in width but this is definitely a great present idea i mean even if you go to the if you like to go to the beach and lounge around it's fantastic but you can also get someone this marvelous thing it's a little heavy and no it is not a suitcase it's definitely not a suitcase it is a record player oh, what i have wanted a record player since since I started getting into really old music, and by really old music, I mean the 1940s. Like, I have been listening to country music legend Hank Williams on a loop. Probably because I am so interested in seeing the film biopic about him with Tom Hiddleston. But that being said, this is a Crosley record player. It is incredibly beautiful. They design some of the most beautiful record players, and this is definitely no exception. I mean, Look at that. It's velvet. It is so pretty. The only downside to a record players nowadays, the modern ones, not the really, really old ones that you could get from the 80s, um, is that they don't use the old, um, what's it called? The old point thingy needles. They don't use the old needles. Now they have ceramic needles, which means it wears down your records faster than the old ones, which is really disappointing. But that's the way it is. So those are just some of the Christmas gifts that I received this year. And you could definitely purchase a record player or a floaty for any bloke. Or even some gift cards and cash would work fine. Um, there were no, unfortunately, no more games coming out. So I couldn't get any more games for Christmas, sad face. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of a mash of Christmas. And monthly favourites, Merry Christmas! Um, I hope you have had a wonderful Christmas because by the time you watch this video, it would have been past Boxing Day already. Or Boxing Day for anyone living in the Northern Hemisphere. So, if you didn't think this video was useless and entirely pointless, or just not interesting to see me ramble, so leave a comment down below if you thought this video was incredibly useless, or just tell me about what you got for Christmas, because that's always great too. But no matter what, please thumb up this video because that would be fantastic and it makes me feel lovely. Give this video a share and of course subscribe if you haven't already. I would definitely appreciate that. There's a picture in one of these corners. I never know which one it's on. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!